welcome today we will discuss different reducing agent first one is red al then we will discuss sodium borohydride sodium cyanoborohydride then zinc borohydride lithium borohydride and k selectride or l selectride so first we will discuss red al which is sodium bis 2 methoxy ethoxy aluminum hydride and the structure is like this where two alkoxy group is connected with aluminum and two hydrides are present on the aluminum anion also the structure can be drawn like this where sodium is connected to four oxygen and aluminum connected to two oxygen and the two hydride are attached to aluminum this is also called s m e a h because s stands for sodium m for methoxy e for ethoxy a for aluminum and h for hydride the compound features a tetrahedral aluminum center attached to two hydride and two alkoxide groups as we have seen the trade name red al refers to being a reducing aluminum compound so red means reducing l means aluminum similar reactivity to lithium aluminum hydride however a though acme is exhibit similar reducing effects but does not have the inconvenient pyrophoric nature lithium aluminum hydride it is pyrophoric that means it gets fire when in when it is in the air but acme is is quite stable it has short shelf life or limited solubility of lh so it does not have limited solubility like lh or short shelf life like lh so these are the properties of lh which does not have with acme h or redal this is moisture sensitive it is thermally stable to 200 degree centigrade commercial solutions are colorless pale yellow and viscous reduction overview of redal reduction redal as we have told the redal uh, has the similar reactivity like lithium aluminum hydride so whatever reductions lithium aluminum hydride undergoes redal also done similar reduction like anhydride gets to alcohol imines gets amine Similarly, nitrile goes to primary amine. Acid chloride goes to alcohol. Carboxylic acid goes to alcohol. Ester also it goes to alcohol. Amide goes to amine. Ketone goes to alcohol. Also, aldehyde goes to alcohol. So, redal has similar reactivity like uh, lithium aluminum hydride, but it is less pyrophoric. it is not pyrophoric like lithium aluminum hydride so it is more confident to use also a wide solubility also it can reduce ether and that is called reductive cleavage of ethers ethers are usually stable at temperature below 100 degree centigrade at higher temperature cleavage of the ether linkage occurs and acme h is a useful reagent for debenzylation and dealylation of aryl benzene and aryl allyl ethers so we can see examples like this benzyl aryl ether you can see this is benzyl group this is aryl and when it is treated with acme a xylene reflux ten hours the benzyl groups gets deprotected and you get the phenol derivative selective reductions also is possible like here a carbonyl group is present and here this enamine this is an enamine and under this acme is condition is benzene or ether minus 5 to 5 degree centigrade you get 10 to 55 percent yield of this uh, double bond enamine reduction that is the double bond gets reduced and carbonyl gets intact also you can see there are two amide motifs are there here and here and this this are actually carbamate moieties and this carbamate moieties are getting reduced with acmh in thf toluene under reflux condition and both becoming a tertiary amine motif and you get 80% yield of the product this is also an important reaction of red and stereo selective uh, reduction epoxide opening so unsymmetrical of epoxides are attack preferentially at the least hindered or least substituted carbon atom to give the more substituted alcohol as the major product like this one you can see the this is there is 2 3 epoxy alcohol the, that is the allylic alcohol if you do the epoxidation you will get this product 
And now, if you treat this compound with SMMH THF 0 degree centigrade, you get this alcohol. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 1, 3 diol. And if you count the carbon atom, this is 1, 2, so this is C2 opening. So, mechanism we will see shortly, but so let us see more examples. Like here, the amide group is there as well as the epoxide is there and with 1.2 equivalent SCME 70 percent toluene and 1.2 equivalent crown ether DME solvent, DME is 1, 2 dimethoxyethane. So, this is DME. And here also the selective opening of C2. So, C2 opening is happening and you get this alcohol beta, beta hydroxy amide to get this product. Similarly, if you have a 3,4 epoxy alcohol, 3,4 epoxy alcohol, then also you get the opening at this C3 C3 opening and you get so reduced selectively hydride is attacking at this position and you get this alcohol as major. When R is equal to ethyl you get 92 is to 8 ratio and R is equal to phenyl you get 70 is to 30. So, when R is equal to phenyl you get slightly less, but the major product is the same that the C3 opening. So, what we have observed? that the carbon center which is close to the hydroxy group that is opening. So, this might be the mechanism, we can draw mechanism like this. And this is the red al and now the hydride attacks here. So, what happened the hydroxy group bind with aluminum and the hydride. So, this is a 5 membered intermediate is forming 5 membered uh, cyclic transition state possible and now you get the C 3 opening. So, you get this alcohol. This is a very important that C 2 one, one, two, three, four, five. This will be one less actually. So, if we see this alcohol CH2OH, so this will be CH2OH. And now you get a 5 member ring here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 member cyclic transition state, and you get 1, 3 diol. And in fact, if you do a lithium aluminum hydride of this 2, 3 epoxy alcohol, 2, 3 epoxy alcohol, then you get 1 is to 1 mixture. So, this is very important that the red al preferably binds with the aluminum complex and the hydride delivery takes place from the C 2 atom. So, that epoxide will open and you get the most substituted alcohol that is the 1, 3 diol. Some more reaction uh, a radial performs like triple bond reductions. If you see this, there is a triple bond here, there is a alkoxy group, and when you treat this compound with 4 equivalent SEMH THF reflux condition, you get 62 to 93 percent yield of this trans product. So, here trans selectivity. On the other hand, if you do the same reaction with 8 equivalent SMMH and you take a alcohol which is a proton source alcohol THF reflux and then you get the cis selectivity. And you can see which kind of groups you can tolerate here. You can see the R is equal to alkyl, R1, R2 is equal to alkyl, alicyclic. So, defined groups can be tolerated. Now, if you do the reaction with this kind of alcohol where the conjugated alkyne, alkene, alkyne is there and selectively the alkyne which is close to the hydroxy group. So, this is the closure to hydroxy group and this triple bond only will get reduced. So, this is a regio selective reduction.
because there are many groups that is the olefin as well as alkyne is present. So, the reduction takes place only this alkyne and you get the trans product and very good yield when you treat with 1.2 equivalent SMH which is 70 percent tolerant THA minus 20 degree centigrade. So, similar like whatever we told that here also here instead of 5 membered you get a 6 membered aluminum. So, this kind of aluminum hydride and like this it will form. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, they are 6 membered, uh, 6 membered cyclic transition state will be there. So, that you get a trans product. Now, sodium borohydride reduction, this is also a popular reducing agent, and this structure is like this there is a borohydride minus because boron has 4 hydrogen attached and sodium plus. It was discovered in 1940s by H. I. Slesing Jaran. This is odorless white or grey white, soluble in polar potic such as water and lower alcohols. So, this is important. The sodium borohydride, sodium borohydride does not react with potic solvents. So, this is important that lithium aluminum hydride they are so reactive or red al they are so reactive that they will reduce uh, they will react with potic solvents but here polar potic such as water and lower alcohols can be used much less powerful reducing agents selective for aldehydes ketones and acid chlorides does not touch epoxide esters acid nitriles also nitro compounds however if some additive is there or at high temperature and it may reduce or if you increase the equivalence of sodium borohydride then also it can reduce other functional groups that we will see later. So, this is the sodium borohydride reduction of aldehydes and ketones. So, aldehyde gives primary alcohol, ketone gives secondary alcohol and generally good yield under mild condition generally methanol or ethanol, methanol, ethanol as a solvent. And what could be the possible mechanism of this reaction? So, here it can be there, it can be possible the proton solvent also slightly activates this uh, hydrogen bond with carbonyl, slightly activates the carbonyl compound. Carbonyl compound can be activated also protic solvent. And now, this hydride delivery will take place from the borohydride and this oxygen of the aldehyde or carbonyl compound can react with boron and you get this kind of alkoxy boron intermediate. This is BH3 now because one hydride comes here and now this is also because oxygen is now binding with boron and now the proton source like water or alcohol will react with this and it will cleave the oxygen boron bond will cleave and you get the alcohol here. So, this is the mechanism that hydride delivery will take place and oxygen will bind with boron. So, alkoxy boron intermediate will form which uh, cleaves in protic solvent like water or acidic water cup you get the alcohol. Example reduction of aldehydes and ketones like this compound you can see there is a aldehyde group, but also an n box group is present. So, this is carbamate and with sodium borohydride and methanol THF at room temperature condition you get only the primary alcohol. So, aldehyde group only reduced that means sodium borohydride is a mild reducing agent. Also, you can see here three functional groups are there cyano is there, carbonyl is there and this is an ester motif. And sodium borohydride and methanol room temperature within one hour it can give high yield of this product. So, only the ketone group reduced to the alcohol the ester and cyano group are untouched. Similarly, here you can see a thioketal motif is there, a ketone is there and also alpha beta unsaturated ketone is there. And with sodium borohydride, ethanol, chloroform and ammonium chloride as the proton source, 
so under this condition you get selectively only this carbonyl group is reduced. So, here this alpha beta unsaturated region cannot be accessed might be due to steric region that is why only the carbonyl group is um, saturated carbonyl group is getting reduced and it is getting reduced from the top phase. So, you get the alpha alcohol. Reduction of ester, so that also it told that sodium borohydride in general does not reduce ester, but under more equivalent of sodium borohydride or at high temperature, sometimes it can reduce carboxylic acid ester. Like carboxylic ester usually slow, but can be by the use of excess reagent in methanol or ethanol, even at room temperature or higher. So, excess reagent you have to use like this one, here you can see there is a lactam motif, beta lactam and also a methyl ester is there and with sodium borohydride, so this should be excess and THF water solvent at room temperature within 3 hours you get this alcohol, primary alcohol and this lactam motif is untouched. So, selective reduction of a star compared to amide because LH will reduce both. So, that way sodium borohydride at high excess it can reduce a star. Similarly, here there is epoxide motive is there, there is cyano, there is a star and with sodium borohydride ethanol you get 88 to 88 percent yield of this alcohol. So, only the ester group gets reduced to the alcohol cyanide group is untouched, this is untouched. Another reagent this is sodium borohydride 5 mole percent and borane dimethyl sulphide. So, both reagents are there and under this condition you can selectively reduce this ester. So, there are two ester motif this and this and this is alpha hydroxy ester. So, this motif is called alpha hydroxy ester and this ester getting reduced to the alcohol and the residual isomeric ratio 200 is to 1. So, very high residual selectivity. So, only this ester which is alpha to the hydroxy group is getting reduced, the other one is not reduced. So, this is in the presence of catalytic sodium borohydride is particularly useful for the residual selective reduction of alpha hydroxy ester. So, this is very selective reduction when sodium borohydride is mixed with borane dimethyl sulphide in THF solvent. Reduction of amides and imides, amides are not reduced directly by sodium borohydride, but if they are first converted to an aminium salts that are readily proceed the reduction to give an amine. Like here the amide is treated with pure Cl3 and is converted to the aminium ion, aminium ion and now sodium borohydride can react with this aminium ion. Here reduction as well as this group leaves. So, you get a tertiary amine. NHBF 4 can reduce imides, but as far as the aminal aminal allows an elegant route to bicyclic alkaloids. Look this imide is there. Now, if you put sodium borohydride you treat, then you get this aminol. Aminol and now CF 3 that is the TFA trifluoroacetic acid. So, if you treat the trifluoroacetic acid, then you get this product, this cyclization happens. So, what could be the possible mechanism? So, most likely this one will give an aminium ion. So, if you see this is uh, cis double bond, cis to this, so we can write like this. So, now you can see there will be a positive charge here. Now, you can see there are 6 atoms are present and now this 3 3 sigma topic rearrangement is possible. So, 3 3 sigma topic rearrangement. Now, you get 
this one, there is the minium ion, and now your silyl will be here, this bond will form, and you get this. Now, now what will happen? Now the allylation of imines like this, because this is imenium ion now, again this addition will take place. So, after that you get this product. So, like addition or allylation, allylation of imenium ions. And then you get this uh, bicyclic alkaloid. So, this means the sodium borohydride can selectively reduce the imide to the aminal because LH can reduce to the amine. So, the better you convert to aminal and then you can make this bicyclic alkaloid. So, this is very useful strategy. Sodium borohydride stereoselective reduction also possible like if you use this 4 tertiary butyl cyclohexanone, then if you treat sodium borohydride. Now, you get mixture of products, this is actually through axial attack, axial attack and this is through equatorial attack, equatorial attack. And now, you see the ratio is 86 is to 14, so this is the major, this is minor, so axial attack is preferable, hydrates comes from axial side. And now, if you use this one, where 3,3 dimethyl and 5 methyl cyclohexanone. So, this compound when treated with sodium borohydride, it gives almost 1 is to 1 mixture. So, here hydrides comes from both sides. So, what happens here? Because there is a axial methyl group, axial methyl group sodium borohydride when it comes from the axial side then there will be a steric hindrance with this methyl group and this axial attack will give the product which is actually thermodynamically stable because you get an equatorial alcohol. So, this is thermodynamically stable this one. So, axial attack gives a thermodynamic alcohol thermodynamically controlled product which is equatorial alcohol, but when you put a methyl group in the axial position then this selectivity because then the hydride delivery is getting steric enhance from the methyl group. Reduction of amides and oxygens also possible like if you treat this compound, this is the amide with sodium borohydride, ethanols, trifluoroacetic acid 10 is to 1 reflux condition you get the amide to amine the reduction of uh, sodium borohydride titanium chloride at buffered aqueous media has been used for the chemoselective reduction of alpha oximo ester to give alpha amino esters. So, this you can see this is alpha oximino ester. So, this is the oxygen, this is the ester and with this sodium borohydride titanium chloride L tartaric acid PH 7 methanol water followed by HCl treatment you get 82 percent yield of this salt actually this is the NH 2 HCl. So, this is the salt of alpha amino ester. So, salt of alpha amino ester. So, this is a very important reaction that oxygen can be reduced to sodium borohydride titanium chloride in L tartaric acid. Now, sodium borohydride cerium chloride which is called also serous chloride this was discovered by Luce that is why it is called Luce reduction and this has some special selectivity like regioselective reduction of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds give 1 to reduction product. Good route to allylic alcohols very important functional groups chemoselectively reduces a ketone in the presence of more electrophilic aldehyde. This is also an important reaction it can reduce a ketone in the presence of an aldehyde. So, this kind of uh, enone like cyclopentenone. So, cyclopentenone if you treat with sodium borohydride you get 100 percent yield of this product cyclopentanol. So, what happens here? Here actually 1 4 as well as 1 2 reduction. So, both groups getting reduced cyclo-ketone as well as the double bond. However, when you do this reaction with sodium borohydride, serous chloride, 
you get selectively this allylic alcohol and this saturated alcohol you get only 3 percent this is the 100 percent yield of the mixture uh, product and now 97 percent is this one. So, what happens here preferentially preferentially one to attack is happening. So, one for attack that is the attack on the double one is not happening here only the carbonyl group is getting reduced the double one is untouched mostly one to reduction product. So, what is the mechanism? There are two uh, mechanism the first uh, is the serous chloride we reacts with sodium borohydride it generates another hydride source which is HCCl2 and now HCCl2 is a Lewis acid also. Lewis acid and hydride donor. So, it does both purposes as you can see here it binds with oxygen that is the carbonyl oxygen and now this hydride. So, there that is why it gets activated now hydride can deliver to the carbonyl group and you get this intermediate where O sodium bond is formed and now after acidic water you get the alcohol. So, another mechanism is also there which we can discuss that when uh, B H 4 is there that is the sodium borohydride. This is an soft nucleophile and now if you treat with ROH which is activated by serous chloride and now what will happen? With serous chloride alcohol you get elimination of hydrogen. So, one hydride goes here and one H plus comes from alcohol. So, you get this borane, borane and now this borane can react with this alkoxide to generate this one water. So, the alkoxide group is connected to the boron and now similarly a two more possibility will be there ultimately you can get this, this, this one hydrogen you have to keep so that the reduction will happen. And now because of the alkoxide group this reducing ability increases so this is actually hard nucleophile. And now, if you treat an alpha beta unsaturated ketone, which is activated also with serous chloride. Now, because this is the hard center, hard center, and this is soft center. So, the reduction of this will happen at the hard center, and you get only this one only one to addition product. So, this is a soft nucleophile borohydride and this is hard nucleophile. So, hard nucleophile reacts at the hard center which is carbonyl group and you get one to addition product. So, that means the selectively alpha beta unsaturated enone only the carbonyl group is getting reduced and the double bond is untouched. The examples you can see here a cycloheptanone with a double bond exocyclic double bond is present and with this condition only the carbonyl group getting reduced to the alcohol also the product is forming in a very highly stereoselective manner. So, hydride delivery is coming from the down phase so that you get the alpha uh, beta alcohol the alcohol is in the up. Also this enone cyclohexenone and here also a carbonyl group is there and a cyclohexenone motif is there and under this condition sodium borohydride, serous chloride, methanol only this carbonyl group getting reduced only this one and also this selectivity is also playing a role. So, here also from the top phase it is attacking because of two methyl groups the attack is atta attacking from the top phase. So, top phase attack. Also, the ester groups and this carbonyl group is untouched. 
this might be due to steric region there is this groups are present so this uh, sodium borohydride cannot access this carbonyl group here also enone is there also a um, amide group is present and with sodium borohydride serous chloride you get only this reduction and also a beta alcohol so this is actually down phase attack so hydride come from the down phase so you get a beta alcohol and here also might be this group is dominating so this because of this group is in the top phase the hydride come from the down phase and you get a beta alcohol this is greater than 20 is to 1 stereo selectivity also sodium borohydride serous chloride mixture it can reduce ketone in the presence of aldehyde so this is also an important reaction like this compound if you see there is a carbonyl group that is the ketone this is aldehyde this is a star and when sodium borohydride serous chloride is used with ethanol water mixture at minus 15 degree centigrade you get only the reduction of the ketone group and these and these are untouched so this is very important reaction only ketone gets reduced now if you consider this compound where is a ketone group there are, there is a aldehyde here also with 1.5 equivalent sodium borohydride serous chloride water and also ethanol water mixture this is the serous chloride 6H2 and this is the solvent 1.5 is to 1 ethanol water you get only the ketone group gets reduced so what could be the mechanism for this reaction so when serous chloride methanol is added to aldehyde what happens in aqueous solution in aqueous solution the hydrate formation happens and this is the masking of aldehyde so aldehyde getting masked as an hydrate and this hydrate formation is prominent because of more electrophilicity of aldehyde and this masking can be uh, clipped if you work up because this is aldehyde hydrate and uh, you finally get the aldehyde on the other hand if in ketone this hydrate formation will be very less because of the steric region hydrate formation is negligible because of less electrophilicity of ketone or so this is less electrophilic less electrophilic due to another alkyl group is there also steric but hydrate formation on aldehyde will be very fast and this way naked so in the mixture what will happen if you have this one in the mixture in the mixture naked ketone will be more so aldehyde is masked as a hydrate naked ketone is more so the sodium borohydride will reduce the naked ketone and you get the secondary alcohol so you get a secondary alcohol that is the reduction happens on the ketone sodium cyanoboride is another reducing agent and the structure is like this there is a cyanide group attached to boron this is colorless salt a useful borohydride reagent milder than sodium borohydride at pH 7 reactivity strongly pH dependent if one of the borohydrides it is one of the few borohydrides which tolerate acidic condition down to pH 3 at pH 3 to 4 sodium bor cyanoborohydride readily reduces aldehydes and ketones at pH 6 to 7 sodium cyanoborohydride readily reduces aluminium ions but not CO groups so this is very important at pH 6 to 7 sodium cyanoborohydride readily reduces aluminium ions this property is responsible for its most important use reductive amination a very useful method for synthesizing secondary and tertiary amines by coupling a secondary or primary amine with an aldehyde or ketone so this is an important reaction of sodium cyanoboroidide which can be carried out at pH 6 to 7. Let us see some examples. So this is the overall reaction if you have an aldehyde also with ketone and a primary or secondary amine when sodium cyanoboroidide acetonitrile and pH 6 is conditioned then the aluminium ion is generated which so this is in situ. In situ aluminium ion is generated which getting reduced by sodium cyanoboride to get the amine. 
like this one 1 2 3 4 5 1 5 diketone with ammonium bromide which is source of ammonia with sodium cyanobide methanol it gives cis 2 6 disubstituted piperidine. So, what is happening here if you see the mechanism first might be this one this aluminum ion will form then this will be sodium cyanobromide reduction. So, minimum this should be more than 2 equivalent. Now, sodium cyanobromide gives this primary amine. Now, this one will get a intramolecular reaction will happen and now you get this one. this one. So, this will be now if it is protonated then it will be aluminum ion and now sodium cyanoboroidide will reduce. So, 2 molecule of sodium cyanoboroidide is required and now you get this product. Also this uh, compound with functionalized uh, group there is amide is there aldehyde is there and this is an heterocyclic group is there primary amine. Here also with sodium cyanoboroidide you get reductive amination. So, you get a secondary amine. So, secondary amine is generated. So, this is very useful reaction that two component aldehyde and amine. So, aldehyde does not react with sodium cyanoboroidide. This is also important because this one which is imine this is more electrophilic. So, this is more electrophilic that is why the reduction of imine is possible in presence of aldehyde. Reductive amination and reduction of imine bond there are some more examples like this one here is aniline derivative is there and aniline converted to N N dimethyl aniline with treatment with sodium cyanoboroidide, formaldehyde, acetonitrile water. So, what is happening here? So, aniline, so aniline first reacts with formaldehyde and you get this one. Now, this one and this imine will be protonated might be and then sodium cyanoboroidide will get to this one. So, first methyl came again formaldehyde. So, formaldehyde in methyl and now a aluminum ion is formed. Now, sodium cyanoboroidide sodium cyanoboroidide will give the product aniline in Me2. So, this is important because if you treat with methyl iodide then you cannot control because may be the uh, another methyl will come. So, total 3 methyl can come. So, this is uncontrolled. On the other hand with formaldehyde and sodium cyanoboroidide you can control. Here also an aluminum ion is reduced with sodium cyanoboroidide methanol here there is also selectivity. So, hydride come from the top phase top phase attack and you get this uh, amine chiral reduction of carbonyl groups also is possible. So, only you have to use pH 4. So, acidic condition more acidic. So, in acidic condition sodium cyanoboride can reduce carbonyl compound to get a beta hydroxy ester here, here downside attack is happening. So, hydride is coming from the downside because might be these groups are there. So, so the hydride comes from the downside so that you get a beta alcohol. Here also you can see a aldehyde group is there, a lactone motive is there here is also a carbamate group is there and with sodium cyanoboroidide methanol pH 4 only the aldehyde getting reduced the lactone is untouched. 
deoxygenation reaction this is also an important reaction of sodium cyanoborohydride like aldehyde or ketone can give the alkane so this is alkane is forming so deoxygenation happens so first uh, when we treat aldehyde with tosyl hydrazine you get a hydrazone so hydrazone tosyl hydrazone in this case and now with sodium cyanoboroiodide dmf heat you get the alkane so what is happening here so what could be the possible mechanism so r h double bond n n n h t s so what will happen na sodium cyanoboroiodide will reduce this one will generate in nh ts and now minus tsh so elimination will happen sorry there is a nh minus tsh now you get a this one this compound and this minus n2 you get this alkene so this is the alkene so you need heat actually here you have to eliminate nitrogen and this heating condition you get the alkene this is a example that tricyclic compound with a carbonyl group when is treated with tosyl hydrazine acid so you need the acid that's is important the acid will enhance the reactivity the reducing ability and now sodium cyanoboride dmf 100 degree centigrade you get the deoxygenated product so deoxygenated product and now this is important when alpha beta unsaturated ketone is treated with tosyl hydrazine acetic acid sodium cyanoboroiodide dmf 100 degree centigrade you get a double bond migration 15 sigma topic shift so double bond migration along with deoxygenation so what is happening here so we can think that this one and uh, this hydrazone so whatever intermediate we had earlier like this this will reduced this in in is to side and now minus tsh you get this one now 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this hydride comes here and now sorry this now this happens so minus n2 and now we get a double bond is here so this is the double bond migration is happening and with elimination of nitrogen you get this uh, sigma topic shift product so this is the isomerized product isomerized lithium boroiodide it is stronger than sodium boroiodide commonly used for the selective reduction of esters and lactones to the corresponding alcohols in the presence of carboxylic acid tertiary amides and nitriles so this is very important for the reduction of esters and lactones the reactivity of lithium boroiodide is dependent on the reaction medium and follows the order ether greater than thf greater than 2 propanol this is attributed to the availability of the lithium counter anion for coordination to the substrate promoting reduction so in ether is better than thf than 2 propanol because the lithium counter anion will be available when it is non potic non potic ether solvent 
Commercially available in solid form also as solution in many organic solvents such as THF, both are inflammable and should be stored protected from moisture. Okay, so lithium borohydride, if you uh, this is useful for selective reduction of A star. Like here, if you see this compound, it is a nitro group is there, there is a amide group is there, and there is another amide and there is another ester group is there. So only out of four groups, only the ester getting reduced to the alcohol, and this amide, this amide and nitro groups are untouched. So this is very selective reduction. Selective reduction of ester. And this compound if you see there is a carboxylic acid and there is a ester motif with lithium borohydride THF isopropanol solvent and uh, 15 degree centigrade 100 percent yield you get of this product. So, here selection or selectivity over CO 2 H. So, CO 2 H group is not reduced. So, if you want to reduce an ester in presence of an carboxylic acid, you have to use lithium borohydride. Zinc borohydride, it is a mild reducing agent for carbonyl groups, can be used in the presence of base sensitive functional groups. This is stereoselective reducing agent, and this is a mild reducing agent, milder than sodium borohydride, and only aldehydes, ketones, azomethanes are reduced to the corresponding alcohols and amines under normal conditions. Moreover, the ether solutions are almost neutral and thus can be used for the chemoselective reduction of aldehydes and ketones in the presence of nitrile, ester, gamma lactone, aliphatic nitro and base sensitive functional groups. Selective reduction of saturated ketones and conjugated aldehydes over conjugated enones can also be affected with zinc borohydride in DME solvent. So, this is an also important reaction that saturated ketones can be reduced in presence of unsaturated ketones. Handling storage, these solutions are sensitive to moisture and must be flushed with nitrogen or argon. Solubilities, ether, DMF, CH2, Cl2 that is the dichromethane, toluene, THF. So, examples of reduction here you can see a anhydride group is there, or this is also an anhydride and this is the enone. So, selectively zinc borohydride ether it gives only the carbonyl reduction and from the a downside attack and you get thus product. So, other groups are untouched. Uh, this is important reaction that is what we told that saturated ketone. So, this is unsaturated ketone and this is saturated ketone and with zinc borohydride in DME. So, DME again this is this compound this is the solvent DME solvent and you get only saturated ketone reduction. So, saturated ketone reduction and you get also a facial selectivity downside attack is happening. So, you get a beta alcohol. This is another example here NaCHO carbamate acetate nitride and the alpha beta unsaturated ketone group is there and when you treat with zinc borohydride decline you get the alcohol. So, this is like selectivity like serous chloride like serous chloride uh, 6H2 like. So, you get preferentially want to attack here and you get epimeric alcohols. However, other groups are untouched. Reduction of carboxylic esters takes place under ultrasonic activation to give alcohols. So, in general esters are not reduced only aldehydes and ketones whatever we have seen. However, in sonication condition in DME, it can give the ester reduction to alcohol. This is aromatic, aromatic ester and here this condition is required, but still you need NN dimethyl aniline and then only you get the benzylic alcohol. So, the reducing ability of the system is enhanced by the addition of a catalytic amount of NN dimethyl aniline and thus aromatic esters which are unaffected under the normal condition undergo reduction. So, zinc borohydride can reduce ester with ultrasonic activation. So, this we have to remember the zinc borohydride can reduce esters with ultrasonic activation. Stereoselective reduction is also possible like this one alpha keto ester 
when it's treated with zinc borohydride ether minus 78 degrees centigrade you get 100 percent yield of this product and selectivity is 17 is to 1. So, this is the alpha hydroxy ester and here hydride come from the top phase. So, top phase at arc. So, hydride come from the top side and you get the alpha alcohol and this can be explained by this transition state. So, if you see the 6 membered uh, cyclic this tetrahydropyrrhine if you draw like 6 membered chair like transition state then you see this uh, all methyls these 2 methyls are up this also up and this methoxy is down and now your zinc coordinate with this carbonyl uh, group as well as this oxygen tetrahydropyrrhine oxygen. So, this is THP oxygen and after this binding then the hydride come from the top side and you get the down alcohol because from the down side you can see this group is there this is also there. So, it comes from the top side and you get a down alcohol. So, another possibility that zinc can bind also with this oxygen this methyl oxygen, but here there will be steric hindrance. So, once it binds with zinc this way then this methyl has to go this way left side and when it comes left side then there is a steric interaction with this hydride. So, this is the transition state through this the product is forming. Okay, now, we will lastly we will discuss reduction with lithium or potassium trialkyl borohydrides the presence of L3 alkyl groups in boron atom makes the hydride strongly nucleophile and hence it is a strong reducing agent compared to other borohydrides. It can reduce the aldehydes and ketones even at minus 70 degree centigrade temperature. The commonly used trialkyl borohydrides are lithium triethyl borohydride, lithium uh, that is Li-ET3BH and lithium and potassium trisac butyl borohydride which are very popular as L and K selectrides. The bulky L and K selectrides can reduce carbonyl groups from less hindered side resulting selective products. This is the uh, L selectorized structure there is a lithium is there that is coming the L and you can see the sec butyl 3 sec butyl groups are there. So, these are sec butyl sec butyl group because methyl is the, the uh, connected at the first carbon. So, sec butyl group is there. Similarly, K selectoride here also the sec butyl is there only instead of lithium there is a potassium that is why it is called K selectoride. So, as we told that these are highly reactive borohydride because there are three alkyl groups are present and that is why the reaction has to be done at minus 78 degree centigrade and because of its bulkiness it is selective. So, stereo selective like this compound the hydride come from the top phase. So, top phase attack and you get this alcohol alpha alcohol you get selectively. Similarly, this compound you can see this is cyclic ketone here also L selectide give this equatorial alcohol. So, axial attack is happening you get the equatorial alcohol in 92 percent yield and similarly this one you can see there are many chiral centers present in this molecule there is a ester group is there OTBS group is there only this group is getting reduced to the alcohol in 90 percent yield. Some more examples here is a cyano group is there carbonyl is there and with case electride you get the uh, secondary alcohol also here you get the top face attack. because of this group maybe this is down. So, you get the top phase attack. So, get you get the alpha alcohol. Uh, this is an important reaction that if you want to change the stereochemistry of an alcohol we know the Mishanabu is a reaction, but sometimes Mishanabu may not work. So, this is the reaction you have to do the oxidation reduction. So, this is with desmartin pyridine and you can oxidize this alcohol to the ketone. And now, so this was trans and now when the L selectide is there then you get a cis alcohol. 
So, this is very important that L selectide can do very stereoselective reduction. So, this is the trans alcohol with respect to this group and here now with respect to this becomes cis. Also, under certain conditions L selectide can selectively reduce enones by conjugate addition of hydride owing to the greater steric hindrance of the bulk hydride reagent experienced at the carbonyl carbon relative to the uh, uh, beta position. So, carbonyl group it tell it may face beta uh, higher higher steric repulsion that is why it may reduce in the 1 4 attack. So, 1 4 attack is happening and after that you can make the enolate, you can trap with this triflamide and you get the O triplet. So, that means it can selectively reduce enone to an enone double bond. So, 1 4 reduction is possible. So, it is opposite like serous chloride sodium boride. So, whatever we have seen that today we have first discussed radal. So, radal is an uh, similar reactivity like lithium aluminum hydride, but it is less pyrophoric wide solubility and we have seen that similar reaction whatever lithium aluminum does like ester, amide, ketone, nitrile reduction it does. Also we have seen the epoxy alcohol this is very important reaction of red al and preferentially it adds uh, the hydride as to the carbon which is closer to the oxygen like 2, 3 epoxy alcohol you get 1, 3 diol and on the other hand LH does not give any selectivity you get 1 is to 1 mixture of products. Then we have seen sodium boroidide which is milder reducing agent and sodium boroidide we have seen that uh, if you can use higher amount or higher temperature then also it can reduce ester not only aldehydes and ketones it can also reduce esters. Also we have seen the sodium boroidide serous chloride which is very useful reagent which is called also luce reduction condition which is very useful reducing agent for selective one to reduction of enones. So, if you have enone then if you use sodium boroidide serous chloride then you get only the carbonyl reduction that is called the one to reduction. Also we have seen the selective reduction of ketones in the presence of aldehyde is possible when you use sodium boroidide serous chloride in aqueous ethanol. So, what happens in this case aldehyde makes the hydrate in that uh, water ethanol mixture and that way it is getting masked. So, only naked ketone can be reduced with sodium boroidide so the ketone reduction is happening. Then we have seen lithium boroidide, lithium boroidide is stronger than sodium boroidide and it is very selective reduction used for selective reduction of esters and lactones also. So, it can selectively reduce ester in presence of nitrile, in presence of nitro, in presence of carboxylic acid. So, if you want to selective reduce ester then you have to use lithium boroidide. Then we have seen zinc borohydride, zinc borohydride also is a mild reducing agent even in fact it is milder than sodium borohydride. And we have seen in a compound where saturated ketone and alpha beta unsaturated ketone is there, zinc borohydride selectively reduces the saturated ketone. So, that is why it is very selective compared to the sodium borohydride. It can selectively reduce the saturated ketone in presence of unsaturated ketone. Also under sonication reaction condition we have seen that it can reduce the ester like aliphatic ester and aromatic ester then you need an additive NN dimethyl aniline something base additive you have to use where the reactivity is increased. Then we have discussed K selectride and L selectride which are uh, very strong boron hydride reagent because there are three alkyl group present in the boron atom. So, that is why it is very reactive and the reaction has to be done at minus 78 degree centigrade. Also, we have seen that because of its bulky nature, it can do the stereoselective reduction of aldehydes, ketones, etcetera. Thank you.